And I know somebody's already gonna come at me for touching my hair, and let me just say, I can't help it. I can't, when it's clean and I just, I just touch it. I don't know, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm done saying sorry. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I am currently in the Starbucks line, and somebody's brake lights are casting a red hue onto my face, so sorry about that. Um, it is also raining, and the windshield wipers are going crazy, so I'll turn those off. So today is Thursday, March 1st. I cannot believe it's already March. That is insane to me. Um, my life is basically booked from March till July, and I will talk to you about that later, but it's a crazy time of year. I wanted to do another vlog this week because I was gone for so long and you guys really seem to enjoy these videos. I really enjoy filming them. I'm gonna turn the music off so I'm not screaming at you. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, I really enjoy filming these type of videos. Um, I have a lot going on today. Thursdays are our short days. So the kids get out at 1.50. Also, I am gonna be out of town tomorrow. That is part of the um, my life being so busy. I am flying to LA. Again, I will talk to you about that a little bit later. Um, so I do have a sub tomorrow, so I have a lot to prep, I have a lot to plan. We're still working on fractions in our narrative writing, and it's been a really fun week. Um, there's a guy that's staring at me. Whatever. Um, so if you would like to see another day in my teaching life, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, <clears throat> I only have 20 minutes um, before the kids come in because it is raining outside so they aren't going to morning walk. It is flipping windy outside. I was driving and there was a lady at the bus stop holding her umbrella that had like completely flipped inside out because of the wind and I'm just like, oh, you poor thing. I feel you, girl. Mine did the same thing on the way in. <laughs> so I have 20 minutes so I'm quickly gonna um, clean up my area and tell you what we have going on today. I already changed the schedule yesterday. Again, it's a short day. So actually, let me just start there. Let's do that really quick. So this is our morning work. They have a notebook that they um, get out right when they come in every single day and I usually have some sort of either math or um, writing prompt on the board. So today obviously we're working on fractions so they're just gonna solve this word problem. It'll take like three minutes. And then this is what we're doing today. So um, we have our, mindfulness, our mindfulness, so our school psychologist is coming in this morning to do an activity with them. <clears throat> then we're gonna do our morning meeting. And then today we are actually starting the rough draft of our narrative writing. And I'll show you what we did yesterday. Um, and then recess, which I'm assuming will be indoor. Eh. Library, math, we're continuing with fractions. I'm really excited for today. I'm gonna show you the activity that we're gonna do. Then they go to lunch, then we're gonna do a read aloud, and then we have PE minutes, and then we're gone. So Thursday today is super, super short. And then, so this is what we did yesterday. I had it up, up on the board a lot prettier, but um, I chose my story, and this is a true story, uh, about a time I got hurt and I sequenced my events. So first I told them like the really long version with a bunch of detail and stuff, and I showed them how from that long story, I'm just gonna pull four chunks, um, four important parts of the story, just so I can sequence my events. So this is what I came up with. So first, my brother and I were shoveling snow in the front yard. Next, we weren't paying attention, and my brother swung his shovel, and it hit me in the head. Then I started to cry, and we drove to the hospital. Last, the doctor gave me six stitches in my head. Again, true story, I was only 11, so this didn't happen like um, any time soon, but uh, it was really, really helpful to, for them to have that concrete example, because when they went back and did it on their own, like I think only one kid I had to kind of really conference with, but um, it was awesome. So then today, this morning, <clears throat> they're gonna take their first, next, then last um, sentences, and then they're actually gonna write a rough draft. So I'm gonna say, and I'm in a model, I'm gonna show them how to take their four um, situations or four events that they wrote about and add more detail to make the story a lot more interesting and we're gonna start adding ad adjectives and it's gonna be so much fun. So this is our um, fractions anchor chart that I had already showed you guys on Monday and we've been doing a lot of parts of whole fractions up until today and then today we're moving to parts of a group. So in order for them to experience and learn about parts of a group for fractions I went to Walmart this morning and I got some pipe cleaners some just like beads and every kid's favorite, crack. And I'm gonna show you how I'm going to um, use the unit that I bought from Teachers Pay Teachers and how I'm gonna incorporate these things for our activity today. 
So for the Skittles, I'm going to give them all a handful of Skittles and they're just gonna place them in the empty circles and then they're gonna choose one color from each group. So like red, green, yellow, orange, purple. And then they're gonna have to write the number of, let's say purple out of the entire amount. And then of course they'll get to eat them at the end. And then for this activity, I'm going to give them a handful of bracelet, or a handful of beads, and then they're going to string them onto their um, pipe cleaner. And my TA cut out little um, tags yesterday, and they're going to choose a one color of the colors on their string and write the fraction. So, like, let's say they have two green beads out of the eight that I gave them, they're going to write that on the tag, put that tag on their bracelet or on their pipe cleaner, and then it will become a bracelet. So again, I'm really loving this math unit because it's just so much more hands-on and fractions to me are just really, really hands-on. So instead of me going up there and being like, this is a part of a group, they actually get to touch things and it's more of that PBL that I really, really enjoy and the kids have been really loving it as well. And they're like really excited for math time. They're like, oh my God, fractions, woohoo! And I'm like, yes, every teacher's dream. So then after math, we go to, or no, we go to library and then we go to math and then they go to lunch and we go home. So we do a collaboration on Thursdays. I think I've mentioned that before. <clears throat> Today we're just getting to work on report cards because they're due at the end of next week. And then um, we have an extended PD, but I have to leave because I have to go to the airport. And then I won't be here tomorrow. So I do have to get sub plans ready, which I'm gonna be doing during my lunch. So I will show you that then. So before the kids come in in 10 minutes, I do wanna change the calendar. I started doing that um, a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and um, I will check back in with you guys during, not recess, because the kids will be in here, probably during lunch. Okay, so this is our final look at March. Um, St. Patrick's Day is on a Saturday this year, which is kind of sad. And then our spring break is the last week in March. And then this whole week, so just Tuesday through Friday, we have conferences, so we get out at 11.50. And I will be vlogging that week, so um, it'll give you a little glimpse of conferences. Okay, so I lied. Before I change my calendar, I wanna to talk to you guys um, really quickly about something. So I mentioned earlier that my life is insanely busy, and honestly, there's just been a ton going on in my personal life this whole year. Um, with events and medical things and a bunch of stuff and I want to talk to you about how to handle that um, when you're teaching so for example 2018 um, one of my best friends is getting married I'm getting married so I am currently planning a wedding that means I have a bachelorette party for her a bachelorette party for me two weddings one of which is in Mexico so it's going to be an extended trip okay and that's just those two events not to mention bridal showers dress fittings, like all the shenanigans that goes along with weddings. So that has been filling up my calendar, especially from this moment forward. And then prior to this, um, without getting TMI, I have a condition with my pancreas that we finally got diagnosed, but it's been like countless trips to the doctor's office. I now have to get a procedure and it's just, um, I had a skin issue, so I had to go to the dermatologist. So like appointments and when, if you've ever had to um, book appointments with specialists, you kind of just have to book whatever they have and sometimes it means you might have to miss school, right? And so long story short, this year has just been insane as far as um, my personal life goes. And so I just wanted to touch on um, how that affects your teaching. Our district, and I can only speak for our district, um, we get 10 like personal days a year. So whether it's um, a doctor's appointment or I'm taking four days to go to Mexico for my friend's wedding, which I am so excited for. Um, so we get 10 days and that doesn't include any of our breaks that we already get. Um, and then if you go over that 10 days for whatever reason, from my understanding, it just comes out of your pay. Um, I think I'm literally gonna hit my 10 day mark on the nose and then if you don't use all those 10 days in my district they roll over which is awesome um, I never thought that I would have to take my full 10 in my first year but life happens and all the teachers and my administration is super supportive and they get it like life happens and sometimes we just have really crazy years so um, yeah I just really want quickly wanted to touch on that even if you are a first-year teacher and you're going through this just know like it's okay life goes on just just take care of you and your personal stuff and everything will be okay so i just really want uh, quickly wanted to talk about that cheers all 
All right, they just gave the official announcement for kids to come to the classroom, so I'm gonna put you guys down. I gotta get going, and I will check back in with you at lunchtime. Bye. Is this torture? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much torture. You're walking. We have a thing of Skittles and we can't eat it. Yeah. Of course it's torture. Done. But you're learning. I'm learning to be tortured. Yeah. I'm used to not eating that much candy. You can say that. What is he? He got one extra. Wow. Can I eat it? Hold on. I had 12 extra. Extra. I ate one. Miss Newton, I had 12 extra. I'm going to have. It is the end of the day. <clears throat> I could not um, get on here during lunch because my aide was in here and I don't want to vlog in front of her. <laughs> so today went by really, really quick and again, it was a really good day. Um, in the last clip, you should have seen the Skittle math that we um, were doing and it was really awesome. They got this fraction, like parts of a whole, or I'm sorry, parts of a group, like boom. It was awesome and then after the unit, I'm sorry, after the lesson, I give them each a sticky note, and we do this sometimes, I should do it more frequently, to be honest. Um, and I have them uh, rate themselves five, four, three, two, or one, um, based on their current understanding and confidence with the material. And like, most of the kids said five, I had a couple fours, and one three. So, that's like how, we, how I'll do a self-assessment. Look at my hand. <laughs> I had a marker totally explode on me. Life of a teacher. Um, so then after math, they went to lunch, and when we came back from lunch, well, we couldn't do PE minutes, so I had them on the computers, and they were just doing some dance math typing. It was only a 20 minute block, and I didn't really plan anything, so I had to fill the time. Um, so I prepped for my sub, everything's planned. I'm gonna show you what I did, and I already planned for next week, so I can enjoy my weekend and know that when I come home on Sunday that I don't have a lot of work to do. So let me show you what um, my sub plans look like. So this is how I lay out my sub plans. I won't have my planner there, but um, this is how I really liked it when I was subbing. So these are just my plans, um, exactly what goes on during each block of time. And then I lay it out from morning to afternoon. So the first thing they do after morning meeting is their spelling test. So I have all my spelling lists and then the actual test template. Um, I have their times tests with their names already on them. And then I have our whole math block. They're gonna be doing um, a bingo, a human bingo activity. And then they are gonna be doing a <clears throat> fraction kite activity. And then a little assessment for the week. So that's our math block. And then in our writing block, we're still working on our ouch moments. It's just gonna be um, continuing to work on our rough draft. And I have the lesson plans printed out so she can refer back to them if she needs to. And then, um, all the other parts of our day don't require any materials other than like a computer or their silent reading books or things like that. So our first hour, yeah, hour of um, professional development today is to work on report cards, which are due tomorrow, which I'm almost done with. Um, and I can actually show you how I do that. Ooh, no, I can't. I can tell you how I do that um, in a little bit. I need to prep one more thing for the sub tomorrow and then I'm gonna get out of here because I still have to pack and um, I need to head to the airport. So, when I do report cards, what I will do is I will have just a blank roster, and <clears throat> I'm sorry, a blank grading sheet with my roster, and then across the top, I will have every single area where I grade. And then I do all my grading with a pencil and a piece of paper, and I fill in the grades. And then I take all the information and move it to my computer. I find that when I have it on the computer, if I don't hit save, and just like it's just really stressful to me, and I'd rather have it all in front of me. And then when I need to put it in the computer, I just transfer it, click submit, and I'm done. Um, so I have to do that right now, and then I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend, hang out with a lot of my friends that um, I don't get to see all the time. All my friends pretty much live in LA. We all went to school in San Diego together and then they stayed in Southern California and I came back up here to Northern California. Um, so I'm so excited to see them. It's gonna be so much fun. And then we're all gonna be at her wedding in April in Tulum, Mexico, which will be amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna get going actually. This is probably going to be a really short vlog because it was a really short day and I didn't have a ton of time to vlog. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, leave them all down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye!